What's happening everybody? Welcome to Daydreamer. I'm Sunny and this is Monster Energy Supercross. Now I don't know much about Supercross. I've been gifted this game to review slash create content for and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the game. It's pretty cool. I mean I've spent a few hours with it so far and like I said previously I don't know anything about Supercross. I knew that it was sort of like a, a dirt bike sport and that is pretty much the extent of my knowledge of said sport but the game itself is pretty cool uh there's a few different modes you've got your single player stuff you've got your xbox live stuff or psn depending on which console you're playing on of course um you can create your own tracks which is pretty cool and you can download tracks from other creators to play within the game but what I'm going to show you today is the career mode. I've started a career mode. As you can see there, I've created uh, a rider. And you can customize your rider. You can customize the bike and all that sort of stuff. But this is the career mode. So as you can see there, you can either just go straight to the race, customize your rider, customize your bike. Uh, you can customize the sponsors that you have. And each sponsor has different objectives for you. Uh, for the races, as you can see there, my sponsor objective at present is to finish 15th or higher. And you, you know, there's a lot of information on this screen. So I'm a level 8 rider at the minute. That's my name and rider number. That's the bike I'm using. Uh, and as you can see at the, at the bottom there, they're, they're the settings for the career mode. So uh, I'm having them doing one shot race. So no qualifying or any of that sort of stuff. Uh, this is because I'm a complete noob to this style of game. You can see there I've got the AI difficulty at very easy. Don't be fooled by that because it's actually quite difficult. There's a pretty steep learning curve. So this is going to be sort of easy to play, very difficult to master. So for people who are sort of familiar with this type of game, I'm sure they'll bump the difficulty up to impossible or whatever. But um, yeah, they're, they're the settings that I go for. And you've got like some sort of social media now. So if you just scroll up, there's like a Twitter feed. And uh, there's you know, different people here. There's, you know, there's official riders. It's the whole game is completely official and looks exactly what Supercross should look like. It has official riders. It does have an announcer, although he doesn't actually announce during the race itself, just before and after. So enough of me showing you the menus and stuff. Let's get straight into a race. As you can see, the Monster Energy logo is sort of plastered all over the game. But they do sponsor the sport in real life, so that's absolutely fine. The game itself is very sort of no frills looking. Uh, the menu is very basic, but they do what they need to do. You don't need fancy menus to be a good game. That doesn't make the game. But it is very no frills. It has all the official tracks of the Supercross season. And like I said, it does have the official riders on there as well. The racing itself, as you'll see in just a second, again, looks like the sport that it's supposed to represent and obviously that is a good thing so we're going to be racing here at the daytona international speedway that uh, obviously is located at daytona beach cool loading times aren't too bad maybe a little long for what it is loading But I think maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky there. The world center of racing, the legendary Daytona International Speedway. Win here, and your name is forever etched in the history books. But first, you have to conquer the sandy course, carved out of the trioval. Hi, everybody. I'm Ralph Shaheen. Monster Energy AMA Supercross, and I have world championship, is set to fight for the glory that comes with winning at Daytona. Okay. So here I am, emerging from the shadows with a, a pyrotechnic entrance. 
So I don't really understand this part of it, but again, I know nothing about the sport really. So I mean, you can you can scroll across, but everybody's taking up all them other places. So this is naturally going to be my starting position. So you just press A here and you appear. So here we go. Steering is very sensitive. You're going to see me fall off uh, a ton of times. I've no doubt about that. But like I said before, I mean, it looks and sounds exa you know, exactly like the sport that it's representing. Which is great. I'm playing on the Xbox One X. It is Xbox One X enhanced. Uh, no HDR or anything like that, but it is Xbox One X enhanced. It does look good. I mean, it's a, it's a good looking game. Lighting's good. There we go, falling off. Can be a bit glitchy at times, but I think everything's a little bit glitchy these days. Nothing's perfect. Steering is very, very sensitive. I'm sure Supercross purists will tell me that that is uh, true to the sport and true to the vehicles that you are riding. But you have to apologize. Uh, I do apologize for my ignorance towards the sport. Uh, it's, it's obviously not something that, uh, at least to my knowledge, is big in this country. I know we do have Speedway over here, but I'm not overly familiar with it. So for that, I do apologise. But believe me when I tell you that I'm probably the best daydreamer for this task. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> So that kind of thing happens. I've just ran that guy over. Uh, so it's not perfect by any stretch. Okay, so there we go. I've gone barreling over there. I did tell you that this was going to happen a lot. I was going to fall off and make some sort of idiot of myself. But hey, maybe it's a good thing you've got a normal, uh, a normal game of playing this. Oh. By normal, I mean by normal, I mean distinctly average, of course. So if my sponsor wanted me to finish fifteenth or higher. Uh, I'm currently sixteenth. Two laps to go. But overall, I mean, I think this game is, is pretty good. I mean, if you're into Supercross, I mean, this is definitely for you. If this is your sport of choice, then, of course, I mean, this is probably the only game on the market. Uh, I mean, it's definitely the only official game on the market for uh, for your sport. For the, uh, for the average gamer, uh, for somebody who probably isn't familiar with Supercross as a sport, such as myself... Uh, with it being a full price game, it maybe isn't something that I would pay for. Um, I mean, this is $49.99 on the Xbox Store for the standard edition. Uh, I don't think it's worth the full worth the full price of admission, perhaps. 
but again, I mean, if this is something you're into, if you're into Supercross, then um, I would suggest this is maybe something you, you should look at. Managed to clock into... No so we're on the final lap. There's the finish line there with the fire. Must be said, the game has piqued my interest into maybe having a look at some uh, Supercross on YouTube. But, yeah. So there we go. That's one race of Supercross. Let's take a look at the final results and see where the riders finish. So I finished ninth, which isn't too bad. And I'm currently ninth in the championships. I have won a couple of races. I'm not doing too bad. Like I said, as you know, I'm playing on, I am playing on easy. But as I'm sure you can see from this, it's fairly difficult. Oh no, wait, sorry, I'm third in the uh, in the standings. I picked up 12 points f for finishing ninth. So there's all these different things that you can uh, achieve that will give you credits and stuff like that. Different titles and whatnot. So we'll have one more race. We'll show you another race here. Again, going back to it, this is pretty pretty no frills. It's uh, um, very basic and to the point, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I'm, for me, as a novice, as a complete noob to Supercross, the very easy on the eye, basic menus suit me. Because if it was too convoluted, uh, it would put me off completely. Okay, so now we're headed to the Lucas Oil Stadium in, in Indianapolis. They have these in bloody huge stadiums. That much I, I have noticed about this. That seemed to load a lot quicker than the last race. So maybe loading times aren't that bad after all. Now it's just being harsh. Indianapolis is a city well known for passion for speed. Is also okay, so here we are again. Again, guys, don't be fooled by it being on very easy because this is a very steep learning curve. You have to be very careful with your braking and everything like that once again you'll notice there's no uh, announcer during the races just the uh, sort of heavy rock soundtrack that we've got going on here Okay, so I just rode on top of that guy's head. That's fine. We can ignore it for now. Just a break and pretty much stop and walk your way around the corners. Okay, I mean... <laughs> As frustrating as it is to come off your bike, it's also pretty realistic. So, I mean, if you hit a jump at that kind of speed in real life, you are coming off your bike. No, no two ways about it. So, as fun as it would be to just go flying over these jumps and just landing and carrying on, it's also not very realistic. And obviously, this is aiming to be a realistic, accurate representation of Supercross. So again, if you look around, I mean, it, oh Christ, <laughs> it's you know, it looks it looks great. It's a, it's a really good looking game. It's not 
anything to sniff at, especially, I mean, in-game. I mean, I've already sort of had a pop at the menus for being basic, but in-game, you can't fault it. The stadium lighting is great. Uh, there's a, you know, a crowd that are seemingly very active. I can't tell because I'm concentrating on the race, but the sponsors and stuff, the mud looks good, and it's a good-looking game. When I initially found out that I was going to be sort of uh, playing this game for review, I was like, not expecting much in all honesty, but, because you know, th these games do sort of fly under the radar, I mean, you know, I fully, I don't know if this is going to sell well in this country, but again, but that's because I'm not sure the sport is that popular in this country, but it really isn't a bad game at all, I mean, I think if this was maybe a budget title uh, at launch, people might be more inclined to, to, to pick it up. But again, this is an uh, instant online. That I think is going to put people off. And that is just me being perfectly honest. Uh, because I, I, I genuinely, as a gamer myself and as a normal human being uh, who's not into Supercross, if I saw this in the shop along with other full price games, this wouldn't be my first choice. However, if I saw it and it was a budget title, uh, you know, I, I may consider it. And giving you my honest opinion on it, I think it's worth a look if you could pick it up cheap enough. But this is pretty much the, crook, the, the entire crux of the game. Uh, race in Supercross events finish as high up the leaderboard as you possibly can but I guess that's what you want from a Supercross game at the end of the day right it's like me when I play my favourite sports games I want an accurate representation of that sport so for example if I was to play FIFA I want to play a football match and not much else Again, you can see I'm like 19th here, uh, playing on a fairly easy difficulty. And again, that's because this game has a, a, a fairly steep learning curve. I think sometimes you can maybe even be too cautious. Oh, then, I, then you go skidding around the corner like that. And there we go, that's another race finished. It was a hard fought race, but the 250 main event is done. Let's take a look at the final results and see where the riders finish. So I didn't pick up any points for that. Sorry, I'm lying. I did. I picked up two points. Again, I know nothing about Supercross. So, just a, a final word on Monster Energy Supercross. It's a really fun game. I mean, if you are into Supercross, I completely recommend it. If you are walking around your local gaming store or flicking around a digital store and you see this for you know, fifty pounds or whatever it is. At a full price game, I find it very difficult to recommend because it's it's been on the ground for content if you are not a fan of the sport. It's fine. But it's there's it's nothing really more than that. It's a it's a good game, it's a good looking game. But as a full price game, I really, really struggle to recommend it. If you're a Supercross fan, sure, go out and buy it. Enjoy it, enjoy the sport that you love. But as a, as a full price game, for an average gamer like myself, I, I really can't recommend it. 
But it's, it's fun. It's fun enough. But yeah, that's my final word on it. If you like Supercross, go out and buy it. If you are an average gamer like me, maybe wait until it comes down in price. But at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. You can do whatever you like. This is Daydreamer Gaming. I'm Sunny. This is Monster Energy Supercross. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye.